sometimes you just have to overcome challenges, right? I mean, how many people are in here two weeks in thinking, man, engineering school is a breeze? How many people are going, man, it's a little harder than I thought it was going to be? You can, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. I know I thought it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, so let me go back to my freshman physics example. I was going into the final and I had a D. And I was in huge risk of having to take the class again. I wasn't excelling. Um, I was questioning myself. My self-confidence was at an all-time low. Um, and the professor said, you know what? Here's the kind of, you know, we're gonna have our final in a couple weeks. You got two weeks of prep. Here's the body of information you need to be prepared for. And you get one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper to prepare for that final. First of all, I studied about four or five hours a night for those next two weeks, just again, going back to plow the fields. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I studied super hard. But I also had the most amazing eight and a half by 11 piece of paper with theorems and sample equations and everything I needed as a point of reference to get through that freshman physics final. I aced it, ended up with a B in the class, and continued on through my engineering emphasis in education. So sometimes, even though when it looks like the chips are down, there'll be challenges you have to have overcome, right? Time management, trying to fit in practice with studying, all of which will pay itself forward when you get into the workplace.